morning, everyone. Actually, it's good evening. Got my day a little bit crazy today. Didn't get my video out like I used to, and I'm really sorry about that. So tonight, <laughs> you're getting the meal plan with the um, teeny grocery haul. And part of my problem was is I didn't get to do my grocery haul like I was expecting to, so I had to wait to do that. And then five other million things happened, <laughs> so it just didn't happen today. So, anyway, that's a long story short to say, okay, let's go, let's get ready with the grocery haul and the meal plan. We'll see you at the end. So I have a very small grocery haul and it's partially pantry. So I had my son pick up the heavy whipping cream because the uh, brownie delight dessert I'm making this week needed it. And I had some, but I was short, a fourth of a cup. <laughs> and then I discovered, no, it wasn't. I was actually short one and a half cups plus a fourth so anyway I just had him get me two because if I don't watch it I probably have another recipe that needs it <laughs> I don't know it yet and then from the freezer I grabbed uh, some chicken breasts some ground beef and then some kale and the kale is from last year and I put it in the freezer and I completely forgot about it until I went to find these things in the freezer and this was sitting next to it and I was like "Ooh, I'm gonna do that because I have some fresh kale but I'd really like to use up the frozen kale too because I want to see how it does because I intend to do that again this year. Although if you look at this, I didn't cut it up and I definitely want to make sure next year that the kale I get out of my garden I cut up because I would rather cut it up. So anyway, there's my teeny tiny pantry grocery haul, which this was I think a little bit over $3 and that was I already had. So there you go. Okay, so for the meal plan, some days I always do leftovers. We don't even really do pizza much on Sundays. I don't know how I got out of that habit. But Monday is spinach and ham quiche for breakfast, kale crunch salad for lunch, spinach lasagna for supper. But I may uh, switch it with the ground beef and kale chicken casserole. I haven't decided yet. Tuesday is coconut raspberry smoothie. That is so good. Tacos for supper, lunch is leftovers. Wednesday, tropical green smoothie for breakfast with um, the kale, black bean, and pineapple salad for lunch. And then leftovers for supper Thursday, Swiss chard with apples. I'm looking forward to that. It's not something I would have ever thought to have tried, but I found the recipe and I want to try it. Leftovers for lunch and then uh, either the spinach lasagna or the ground beef with, it's ground beef with, chi with kale casserole. I don't know why there's chicken in there. Friday's leftover prefers breakfast and the just like Campbell's tomato soup for lunch and then spinach stuffed chicken for supper. Saturday's leftovers except for supper which we usually do hot dogs with fries. Earth milk and velvet gold detox for drinks. I didn't get to do these last week so I gotta do them again. <laughs> and then brownie delight for dessert. I'm going to do another dessert but I haven't decided what it was so I left it blank. We'll see what I come up with this week. I'm not sure yet. Probably something with peaches or some kind of fruit. But anyway, there you go. Okay, there you go folks. The grocery haul and the meal plan. Sorry I didn't have much of a grocery haul. I just didn't need anything and I wouldn't have even bought the cream except that I would had to have it. I couldn't supplement it. I'm usually really good about that, but I just didn't look this week. But anyway, thanks for taking along and I'll see you tomorrow for my meal prep. Bye!